Sometimes you just want a really good Cajun spicy jerk salmon pasta dish. Today I'm getting ready to do that, but it's just a little sweetness added to it. I've shown you guys my honey jerk turkey wings, and I'm going to go ahead and do some honey jerk salmon with the um, fettuccine pasta, okay? So let's get into it. So you want to start off with prep, you guys. Um, this is going to be prep for the pasta, the Alfredo um, pasta sauce. So you want to have a red bell pepper, a green bell pepper, white onion, yellow bell pepper. This is scallions and parsley for garnish and a little thyme. I always use half a pepper of every color except green. Green is a bit strong for me, so I only use a little bit, a little slither of a green pepper. But if you like that uh, strong flavor of the green pepper, use however much you like, okay? Your next thing you wanna prep is your salmon. I got a nice salmon filet that I have washed. I've took off the skin, that silver skin on the back, that membrane. You can um, you can eat that, y'all, but I just, I don't prefer to have it, so I took it off. And then all I am gonna do is cut it down the middle. and then just cut pieces from there. Nice size pieces, nothing that's too big or no piece that's too small, but a nice a, a nice bite too, a nice solid piece. Like that. Once you have your salmon cut up, you're gonna use onion powder garlic powder, minced garlic, any kind of seafood seasoning, whatever you like on your uh, seafood, go ahead. But I'm gonna use my baby Keith Loren. He has a really good gourmet seafood seasoning. He's starting to blow up, he is all over. I love him, y'all, go check him out. He is on YouTube and Instagram, Spice King, Keith Loren. This is a delicious seasoning. And then you're going to have some Walker, Walker's wood jerk, the hot and spicy one. If you can't handle that level of heat, go ahead and use the mild. And of course, honey. So I'm gonna get started seasoning everything up. All right, so after you have let your salmon marinate for about an hour in a skillet, get you some avocado oil or whatever oil you're choosing as long as it has a nice high smoke point and a pad of butter. And then you are gonna go ahead and saute up that salmon. While you got your salmon going, you go ahead on and get your pasta, start getting that pasta water uh, boiling and everything because it's gonna go fairly quick after this process. It's not gonna take us long at all. It's such a quick dish, yet flavorful. It's filling. It tastes even better the next day. Pastas always taste so much better the next day. That's all to that. So we'll let these cook for about three minutes on each side. All right, so after you've taken your salmon out in the same skillet that the salmon cooked in, you're gonna add those seasonings. Your onions, the peppers. I'm also going to add in the thyme in there. Mm 
we just saute them for a little bit. I'm going to use the whole pint. You're going to then add in your Parmesan cheese. Start with a little bit at a time, then taste as you go. Uh, you have to be really careful if, you, if you're more of a newer cook. You got to be careful with a dish like this because that salt can get away from you. That cheese, Parmesan cheese is extremely salty and then the seasonings that we use for your jerk salmon, that is also salty. So putting them both together, uh, it, can, it can run away on you. So you gotta kinda really taste as you're cooking. Right to the sauce, I'm adding just like a little bit half a teaspoon more of the jerk seasonings. And then I'm also gonna add some seafood seasoning right in there. And it's coming together so nicely. Our sauce is now seasoned up to perfection. I'm gonna add the cooked pasta to it. Then we're gonna add in, add back in the honey salmon on top, honey jerk salmon right on top. All right, it is so good, y'all. Took a four full of it for taste. Oh my goodness. So it is sitting over there, mixing up well. If you want, you can definitely break your salmon down further so that you'll have bite-sized pieces all throughout the pasta, but this is perfect for me, just like it is. All I'm gonna do is add some scallion and some fresh parsley. That's it, y'all. 